Hello, my name is Eric Putkinen. Thank you for joining me. Today we're talking about pain is inevitable and necessary. Suffering is not. Now, I've said this before, but pain and suffering are two different things. Uh, you know, any lawyer in the U.S. can tell you that pain and suffering are two different things because you can sue for pain and suffering. <laughs> they are defined as two different things. But getting back to pain, pain is necessary in that we need to have the capacity to be able to feel pain. There's so many in various spiritual circles that are thinking that, you know, if I can get enlightenment or if I can progress far enough, I can eliminate all pain. Physical pain, this is the stuff where you, know, you get a cut, you feel it is necessary. If the nerves of the body ceased to function as they should and you lost the ability to feel pain, kind of like what happens with some severe diabetics or victims of leprosy or other neurologically damaging diseases, they lose the ability to feel pain in their extremities, for example. They can't feel their feet, they can't feel their hands, different things happen, they might, be, they might lose all sensation entirely. And when this happens, it becomes very dangerous for them and very hard actually to continue living in the world because you, they might bump into something quite severely or get a cut that they didn't, they didn't know about. And the wound, being it's unknown and untreated, may start to fester. And by the time you realize what's going on, it may be too late, and then you need to have the limb amputated. And this is why you, you hear of diabetic or you know, leprosy victims having am amputations because a lot of it was damage was done, it was unknown, unnoticed, and it festered to the point where the, lim the limb had to be removed or the appendage had to be removed. Pain is needed just to make us aware of what's going on so we can treat injuries and not let it fester. Pain is a necessary and very helpful thing in life. It is also inevitable. It is, it is unrealistic to think that at some point you're no longer going to to ever injure yourself. You're never going to get sick. You're never going to have any of this happen. That's unrealistic. The human body is prone to injury, growing old, aches, pains. Um, the human body is prone to damage because it's, you know, it, it's somewhat soft and squishy. And so it comes, you know, it can be cut. It can, it can be burned. It, it can be, you know, damaged in various ways. And pain is necessary so we could, you know, take care of the injuries. And so don't try to escape pain. Escaping pain, trying to get rid of pain where it never arises again, isn't something we really want. And as long as we're trying to escape pain and thinking that pain is something that should not be, then you're resisting pain. And in this resisting of pain, you create suffering. <laughs> and suffering is this additional hurt um, that we create for ourselves. You know, like if someone says, don't look or it'll hurt more. The hurting before you look is pain arising from the nerves of the body. The hurting more after you look is imagined hurt created in the mind. It never had to hurt more. That additional hurting more was self-created, self-inflicted. Suffering also includes the, the, what people call emotional pain. There really is no such thing as emotional pain. That's suffering. Pain strictly is of the nerves of the body. Suffering is in the head. 
And suffering includes emotion, the, the emotional pain or the emotional suffering. And that too arises because of our own uh, conceptions, beliefs, habits and tendencies, our own ignorance. It is from this that our reactions and actions spring. And so if we are, because of our ignorance and misconceptions and such, um, don't see a problem with attachment and we become, say, deeply attached to a gift, let's say, that was given. Something fragile, you know, glass figurine, whatever. And we become very attached to it and semi-identified with it. Well, yes, if it accidentally gets uh, bumped and falls from the shelf and shatters on the floor, there's this emotional pain, per se, or, or suffering, because you're attached. You were attached to it and identifying with it. And so when it goes away, it hurts. But that is in the mind. That is, that is self-created and self-inflicted based on the beliefs and concepts you, that you're holding on this item. Because if it wasn't yours and didn't have all the significance, if you were visiting somebody else's house and something got knocked off the shelf and shattered, you might be sorry that you broke it, but it wouldn't hurt in the same way. Why? Because it doesn't have all that invested me, all that identity, all that attachment, all that holding on, all that memory and baggage from the past. It wasn't this vessel that held all this stuff. And so it wasn't significant. And so it going away doesn't have the same impact. And it is possible to be non-attached and not hold on to anything. And so if something breaks, it may be a shame that it broke. It would have been nice to, you know, if it was around longer, that would, have been, that would have been nice. But, hey, all forms are temporary. Everything was going to go away. There, everything will go away. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. And it is resisting and denying these certainties and, and realities that we create suffering for ourselves. We think we can hold on. And so when reality takes its course and something gets pulled away, yanked away per se it doesn't feel good because we're trying to hold on we don't want it to go away and that is the essence of really all suffering all suffering arises because of what's in here it's our own concepts our own beliefs our own habits and conditioning our own our own ignorance we're not we're not recognizing things <laughs> and it's through this that we create hurt that has nothing to do with the nerves of the body. And as such, suffering is optional. Suffering can cease. Suffering can cease to arise in life. And that is why I say that pain is inevitable and necessary. Suffering is not. Suffering is not inevitable and not necessary. It can cease. But only if the misconceptions, the beliefs, the ignorance and such are dispelled. We must understand deeply. And so that's kind of the all I want to talk about today. Um, if you got any questions, comments, please post below. Um, if you have not already, please subscribe. Uh, feel free to, you know, share this or other videos with others that you think might be interested in, in listening to them. Um, but until next time, thank you much.